Hello guys, this is Roger69501 and welcome to my channel. Oh yeah. So uh, the comic that I'm going to display is from 1992. Way back. And I'm talking about Morbius the Living Vampire versus Spider-Man. Check out this cover. Awesome, huh? So I'm going to put it here. Stay. By the way, uh, this was a pretty good series back then. It wasn't the greatest, but it was a fun read. I like it. I like the concept of Morbius. It was fun. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts for Green Lantern. From issue number, well, actually, I'm gonna start for Convergence, issue number two, The Atom. Check this out. Well, actually, I actually had to, yeah, let me get, I have to get organized here. Okay. Okay. Convergence issue number two, which is, which is the beginning of the of this new story arc, in a way. Uh, issue number 41, which I love this cover. Issue number 42. Issue number 43. And 44, the last issue so far. Check out this cover. Awesome, huh? Okay. Let me hold it, let me view. Reorganize again. Okay. So the story starts more or less here, but it doesn't. It's not the same as the some other books that where the last story arc finished. This one started, not this one, because originally this story arc starts from issue number. 40, to be uh, more or less like from issue number 40, not 40, issue number 39, sorry, start from issue number 39, and then 40, basically issue 39 and 40 basically is telling you what's going on on the universe. The thing is that on the universe, planets are turning into stone, and the guardians, they don't know how why or who are doing that. So not only that, the Green Lanterns throughout the universe, they are getting uh, protested. Kind of like the, the habitants from different planets, they don't want the Green Lantern core to the, close to them. Kind of like riots, in a way. So, so the people, so the universe, all the sectors, all the sector that they protect, well, they don't like the Green Lanterns anymore. Actually, they hate them. Because the universe kind of like blamed them for all the bad rap or the bad uh, attacks and death that been throughout the universe kind of like from the beginning of the New 52 where we had all those story arcs. Well, these are the consequences from all those story arcs that we have read. At least in my case, I have. So once, uh, so basically that's what it is. And also tell you the story where Hal Jordan and why he took the glove. It shows you there. It do not show you here. So to understand this, this new story I just to start from issue number 39. So now let me show you what's going on with planets that they're turning turning into stones. Also show you why how, how Jordan took the glove for him, why he becomes a renegade, why he becomes a, his own boss, and what the Guardians think about how Jordan. Basically all that you can find it on these two issues. Maybe you can start from issue number 38 if you want to, but in my advice, start from 39. So after 39 and 40, 
comes convergence, which continue from issue number third, uh, from issue number forty. So from forty to this issue, we go to the future. Okay. We see how Jordan having a long hair, and he already using the glove and finding some some. Uh, Criminals, kind of like he's becomes kind of like clean his <laughs> kind of. So, on issue number forty-one, as we can see here, so he decides that he goes to a planet, kind of like in that planet there's a uh, like a like a building where they have illegal fights, kind of like Fight Club, the movie. Fight Club, same thing. So he goes there to save this guy. Uh, what, uh, what his name? Uh, I mean, the thing about Green Lantern books are the weird and strange names. I think it's his, it's his name is Vigo or Bio. So he, he saves him from the Fight Club, fighting some, uh, fighting some uh, monsters. Gladiator, you know, who will survive and all that, so he said this alien. So the thing is that Virgo. Not only that, while he saved this guy his life, a body hunter kind of shows up. Now that's a body hunter criminal. So Har Jordan to that guy is kind of like clean his wood in a way. Reminds me of all those Western, Clint Eastwood, Western movies. Not the one that good and the bad and the ugly, but more like fistfuls of dollar and hanging high and pale wire. Oh yeah, that was a good movie, pale wire. Wow. Anyway, back to the, the comics. Sorry. Anyway, so... He apprehends the criminal and the guy that he saves. Not only that. So they manage to escape. And here on issue number 42, we get to find out that the power that the, that the glove has is immense. It's really, really powerful. You see, when he was in the planet Oa on issue number 39 and 40, when he decided to steal the glove, he escaped. Now, the Guardians told Mojo, which happens to be the planet, the new planet, or the new base Oa, as we know the planet Mojo is basically a green lantern, but it has the shape of a whole planet. So they ordered Mojo to use his, his gravity to stop Hal Jordan, but we get to find out that the glove is so powerful, powerful that he managed to escape, even though Mojo, the whole planet, was using all his gravity to try to stop him. I cannot do it. So you get an idea how powerful that glove is. And we get to see it here again. So he managed to make like a giant uh, asteroid, but it was getting too big that he almost lose control of it. So still, Hulk Jordan is still trying to control the glove because the glove takes a lot amount of, of will. You can have all the will that you can have, but it takes more than that just to control the glove. That's how powerful it is. So from there, so he travels throughout the universe, obviously, till he stumbles. Uh, this guy, again, I know, Redick. So he goes to the end, you know, so he's, he's traveling, trying to find out what's going on. How those planets is getting, turning into stones. The thing is that the planets are turning into stone because a little bit of, of stone fall from the sky, hits the, the ground, the whole planet turned into stone. Nobody knows what. So, the thing is that he goes to the wall. 
how Jonah goes to the wall. But Redick doesn't recognize how Jordan as a Green Lantern. He uh, mm -hmm. really thinks that that person is supposed to be hard. How Jordan, he's just a scientist. He just trying, oh yeah, I'm just a scientist. And I'm here trying to figure out what's going on. And also how Jordan uh, sees that the wall has a big uh, fissure. He uh, has a big hole. So, you know, he has, he's telling Reddit what's going on with the planets turning to stones. Which is here. Issue number 43. So, even though Reddit, he doesn't know what's going on. He believes, well, what that you told me looks interesting, this and that. But I believe because Hal Jordan believed that, that because of the wall is broken or has a hole, something came out out of that wall, behind the wall, or inside the wall, and it's creating this. Planet is turning into stone. The thing is that, well, it's not. So, let me see. Uh, also, we get to see Black Hand. I know, I like that card. We know that Black Hand, he's the Black Lantern. He can bring back to life the dead as some be wise. The thing is that, well, he knows what's going on. Also, which I forgot to mention, mission number 39 or 40, when the first stone hits a planet that was close to our sector, Constantine, Raven, and Shazam felt the power, kind of like a disturbance of the force. That's how powerful that, whatever it is, is doing. Back to the story. So, Black Hand, he wants to, well, he just like to bring dead people to life. Call it walking dead from outer space. <laughs> so, but it's not working. You see, so Black Hand, he's like, What's going on? Why I cannot bring the dead people back to life? Or someone that is dead turned into stone, so he just can't. So Black Hand is like, ugh. So, that's some of the plan. Back to Reddit. So Reddit is talking to Hulk Jordan. Now, on top of that, Reddit doesn't, doesn't recognize that person as Hulk Jordan, just some kind of scientist. The thing is that the guy that, that he saves from the fight club, he decides to use, try to use the glove because he, he thinks that Reddick is a threat. So he put him on, which eventually almost killed him because he's kind of like, he, according to the story, kind of connects directly to your brain. If you don't have enough will to control the glove, well, kind of you, kind of like, if fried your brain, you become brain dead, coma, or actually die. So that's what happened to that guy. I think it's Vigo. His name is Vigo. So once that guy put on the glove, Relic, he feels the power. Uh -huh. He goes like, aha, wait a minute. You are not a scientist. I feel the green lantern power. You are a you are a green lantern lightsmith. I feel I feel the light the power of the lightsmith. So you are not saying who you are. So all Jordan's cover just been blown. So he go back to the ship. Take out the glove of this guy. So while he's talking to the spaceship, that's another thing. That how Jordan's spaceship. Her name is Amanda. I believe so. And the spaceship have, has his own personality. Kind of like if, I, it talks like he was kind of like Hal Jordan's wife. <laughs> so they, they, spend more, they spend more time arguing between Hal Jordan and the, and, the, and the spaceship's computer than, than anything else. And that's a fun part, I like that. So they manage so how do you want to give the order to the ship? Look, you just hyperdrive, get us out of here. They managed to escape. But now Reddit knows that uh, there's a 
lantern because Reddy says that every time that the green lantern use the power ring, it will bring the universe to it will it will die. So a new universe will come back to life. Something about the energy and the spectrum something of the universe. Fine. So from there he goes to a planet searching for the doctor to save Beagles, I believe the, the guy from the Fight Club, Slack, which eventually he does. So the thing is, uh, in issue number 44, uh, yes, his name is Beagles. So he pulled, so kind of like the, the other guy, the uh, prisoner, he's, they, they call him the Trapper. So he goes to this planet, and this planet where is the doctor is controlled by some criminals, which those criminals are from the uh, Tanagan or Taganarian, I believe it says Taganarian, which it was nice to see some other kind of like the Hawkman people. Kind. So there's a big fight, like always. So the thing is that. Once that they manage to to uh, to save the town from these Tanagarian criminals, so and Virgo he managed to get out of the coma and brain dead and all that. So now there seems like that Hal Jordan is going to search for Black Hand. So maybe. Hard Jordan's believe that all this going on is cause of black hand. At least that's what the end says. So, so basically that's the end of this story. So, so it starts from issue number 38. I have to say that it's, that it's a really good story. It's really good. I like this new direction, Hal Jordan's direction that he's become renegade, clean his wood, with his poncho, long hair, all, all he needs is just to have a cigarette. <laughs> so, the Guardian, the Green Lantern, we know me. They should call him that way. <laughs> I just created a new character. So, uh, it's really good story though. I really like it. It's really like it. And I will give this so far story arc, I will give it five out of five and like I said it's a really good story it's really good straightforward really neat done I like it. and I like the the uh, the chemistry between all the characters between Hal Jordan Virgo and the Trapper so they're becoming by necessity they're becoming buddy buddies they're becoming to they're they're beginning to to uh, trust each other, to become friends, and work together. So now, according to the end of the story here, it says the search for Black Hand. It says the trial of the Black Hand. So maybe Black Hand is going to be, they're going to blame him for what's going on with the universe and people turning and planets and planets turning into stone. So, it's a really good story. Well, guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.